Psalm 73, 25 to 28. Whom shall I have? Whom have I in heaven but you? And there's nothing on earth that I desire besides you. My flesh and my heart may fail, but God is the strength of my heart and my portion forever. For behold, those who are far from you shall perish. You put an end to everyone who is unfaithful to you. But for me, it is good to be near God. I made the Lord God my refuge, that I may tell of all your works. This is from Westminster's Catechism number one. The chief end of man is to glorify God and to enjoy Him forever. And this is about enjoying Him forever. You know, because Psalm 73 says, Who shall I, who have I in heaven but you? There's nothing on earth that I desire besides you. Nothing. That's a very, very strong statement per se. There's, there's nothing that he desires on earth more than God. You know, so this is a, this is a, re, this is about desire. This is not about needing God or worshiping God per se. This is about something I desire besides you. Well, how do you come to that? But that's why to enjoy God forever is to desire God. Because who, who do I have? Whom, whom have I in heaven but you? And there is nothing on earth that I desire besides you. My flesh and my heart may fail, but God is the strength of my heart and my portion forever. You know why? You desire God. He desires God more um, than anything else, anybody else. And that's because that's because our heart and our, our flesh will fail. You know, but God is the strength of my heart and my portion forever. So in a sense, it's because we desire God because He's good to us. We desire God because He's the one who gives us the heart strong. You know, keeps our hearts strong, my, our flesh going. Because He brings healing and that kind of thing, you know. He's the strength of our hearts. Our hearts continue to beat our portion. For behold, those who are far from you shall perish. Those who are far from you shall perish. You put an end to everyone who is unfaithful to you. So those who are far from God shall perish. And God will put an end to those who are unfaithful to Him. Therefore, you want to desire God. You know, you desire God not, not only because He is good to you, but because all the, you, you, are to, you are utterly dependent on Him. We are utterly dependent on Him. Physically, mentally, and spiritually, in all sense of the word. Okay? So I have made the Lord God my refuge. I may tell of all your works. God is my refuge. And because He is all this to us, okay, He's a strength of my heart. He gives me joy, gives me ability to breathe and my portion forever. And while those who reject God will perish forever, and I'm going to enjoy God forever in eternity. That's why I enjoy God so much. I desire Him. Hallelujah. That's what Augustine say. Um, when 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 you have un, when you have a disordered love, you don't love God number one. You love other things or other people number one. It's called disordered love. But this, you know, Augustine brings the most most clearly. You love God, desire God. <laughs>